Spontaneity, gingado, is a way of life in Brazil. Be it soccer, dance, street art, free form is the common theme. In this vast, diverse, luscious country, anything seems possible. Yet, even here, there's a day that the music died. It's the story every Brazilian knows by heart, the story of the 1950 World Cup. For the first time, the world was coming to us. Futebol seria, afinal de contas, o atestado final. Construiu-se um grande estádio, grande obra do brasileiro, e dentro dele nós íamos ter a nossa maior festa. Above all else, everyone knew it was Brazil's time to win its first World Cup. The 1950 team was full of stars, including legends like Ademir, Jair, and Zizinho. The Maracanã was built for the Cup, the largest stadium in the world. In the unique playoff format of the 1950 tournament, everything came down to the last game. We played Uruguay and just needed a tie to win the Cup. Rio was going crazy. Everybody wanted to witness the moment. When I entered, I remember that Maracanã todo cheio. Era magnífico. O máximo. Era o máximo. Cerca de 200 mil pessoas dentro do Maracanã. O povo feliz cantando, o Brasil inteiro cantando. E eu estava sentado numa cadeira com minha mãe, meu irmão e minha irmã. Uma cadeira só para os quatro. In the second half, Brazil took the lead. The cup was ours. Even when Uruguay tied the game, the cup was still ours. But then, the unthinkable happened. Our goalkeeper Barbosa reacted late to a shot, and Uruguay scored again. A giant party became the great silence. No one in Brazil thought the Seleção the national team could lose, but they did. When Barbosa didn't hold the ball, it was total sadness. I looked at everyone perplexed, looking to see what would happen, how would it end. There was no more chance to win the game. In 1950, more than 200,000 Brazilians sat in the Maracanã. Every last one engulfed by sorrow. Todo mundo passou a chorar. Era uma choradeira para dizer o enterro. Ninguém falava na rua, aquele povo saindo da mesmo jeito. Era realmente como se estivesse acompanhando um féretro. 1950 means a defeat of the country kind of losing a war. When this uh, collapsed, it was kind of the, the, the Brazilian hope that collapsed. Instead of becoming national heroes, the players became pariahs. Quando encontrava uma pessoa que tinha visto o jogo, pô, mas como é que foi aquilo? Lembrava ele sempre da, daquela derrota na sua carreira. The defeat was a red-hot emblem of agony branded deep international psyche. It still lingers. In the National Soccer Museum in Sao Paulo, the memory is encased in its own crypt, a place where every Brazilian can still experience the pain. The game was dubbed the Maracanazo, the Maracanã blow. Yet, from our national tragedy came a silver lining it inspired a little boy to be the world's greatest player. Eight years later, Pele led Brazil to the first of our record five World Cups. And now, for the first time since 1950, we welcome the world again. This time, we want our sixth World Cup to be the first one on home soil. And at last, put to rest our heaviest defeat, our worst day.